Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Signature Licks Profile Lesson for the months of April through June 2019. I'm in the process of redoing all my, my what I used to call Classic Licks Lessons and these are simply lessons where I take one particular famous blues guitar player and go through oh anywhere from a dozen to 15 or 20 different licks and ideas from their playing that I've learned over the years and I'm sharing those with you. So this time around we're going to redo the Lowell Fulson lesson. Lowell Fulson is one of my favorite blues guitar players and when I was just getting started his style was simple enough that I could I could really kind of get into it right off the bat. He plays primarily in the first position blues box, not exclusively but for the most part if you have any doubts about what's going on try the first position blues box first. So let's get started. Our first example of a Lowell Fulson lick. This is just a simple one to get started playing in the first position blues box. In the key of G, this is from a tune, not really any particular tune, it's just a lick that I've, I've heard him use quite a bit. Something like this. Let me do that again. And what I'm doing is just starting from the 7th, the 6th fret of the 2nd string, 6, 5, 3, and then I'm going into a little hop, and this is another lick that Lowell Fulson used quite a bit. I'm bending up on the 5th fret of the 3rd string with my 1st finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, and he usually does this very quickly as kind of a passing phrase. So we've got the single string run, and then the quick hop. And then I've got this lick, 5-3 on the 3rd string, 5th fret of the 4th string to wrap it up. That's an abbreviated example, but you listen to a lot of his fills and solos, and you'll hear something like this in there. You know, as part of the, part of the solo, just a fill, but usually he's going from one place to another with this. That's our first example of a Lowell Fulson run. One more time. Our second example of a Lowell Fulson lick, this is one of my favorites, is to climb. I call it a climbing lick because we're going to start on the fifth fret of the fifth string and we're going to climb up like this. And there's a couple different typical Lowell Fulson ideas, actually two or three in there. The first is this idea of climbing across the first position blues box. Again, we're in the key of G. And that first lick, I'm starting from the 5th fret of the 5th string, 3-5 on the 4th string, and then we're actually going to get to the 3rd fret of the 3rd string. That's the first part. And then we're going to go to the 4th fret of the 3rd string, and then I've got this lick on the 1st and 2nd strings. I've got my 1st finger getting the 3rd fret of both the 2nd and the 1st string. And I'm getting the 2nd string, 1st string. And then going to the 6th fret of the 2nd string, back to the 3rd fret. So we've got this. Something like that. And then he's going to go... Two things there. One, we've got this bend on the third, fifth fret of the of the second string, and this is something you'll hear Lowell Folsom do a lot. And then he's coming back to the third fret of the second string, and that little lick right there is another Lowell Folsom kind of signature lick. I'm going back and forth between the fifth fret of the third string and the second fret, third fret of the second string. So let's put that whole run together here. So there's a couple already cool Lowell Fulson ideas all played in the first position blues box in the key of the key of G. Check the tabs for both of these. I have these tabbed out. Lick number three is what I call a takeoff lick, something that Lowell Folson uses to start his solo on the tune Lonely Hours. This is also in the key of G. And we're going to see the use of double stops, which is something that Lowell Folson did quite a bit in the first position blues box. So when he gets to the solo, 
on Lonely Hours. He starts it out with this kind of lick. And I'm not going to play all the way through, but this that the idea of using these double stops is something that Lowell Folsom does. So this is a good example of that. I'm going to start with that climb, just like we did in the previous lick. And then I'm going to go to the bass note, third fret of the sixth string, which is a G. We're still in the key of G. And I'm going to get it twice. And then I get this double stop. And it's simply the third fret getting the third and the fourth strings. Really cool stuff. And then the second time, he's going to vary it a little bit. He's going to do that same climb on the fifth and the fourth strings, but then he's going to go on a, use a double stop from the fifth to the third on the second and the third strings. Check the tab on this. That's the first part of it. And then he's going to go back to the fifth fret of the fourth string. And then that double stop from the fifth to the third frets again on the second and third strings. So this is how he kicks off the solo. I missed that note right there. Let's do it one more time. go again. And then go in to the single string runs or whatever you want to play after that if you're using it as part of a solo. Again, that's from the tune Lonely Hours in the key of G. That's example number three. Lick number four is an example of a, what I call a horn, horn-like lick. And Lowell Folsom plays this in a tune called Treat Me Right. We're going to move to the key of B flat. Once again, we're playing over the first position blues box, this time between the sixth and the eighth frets. And there's one point in the song where he plays this little horn, horn lick like phrase. It goes like this. You can use that in a solo, you could use it as a fill. It's really cool. He starts on the B flat, which is on the fourth string at the eighth fret. And then he's going to climb up the first position blues box from the 6th to the 7th frets on the 3rd string, 6, 8 on the 2nd string. And then we got this double stop, 1st and 2nd strings, I'm using my 1st finger at the 6th fret, and then my ring finger is going to the 8th fret of the 2nd string. And then just real quick, I'm going to play that double stop with my pinky on the ninth fret of the first string and my ring finger on the eighth fret of the second string. <laughs> Typical R&B, electric blues type double stop. Lowell Folson, a lot of times when he plays this kind of lick, he chokes it off. He'll do something like that. All I'm doing is playing, and then I'm putting my right hand on the strings, or you can just let up with your left hand a little bit too, or do a little bit of both. So the whole lick, played slowly, goes like this. And I, I love licks like that, and it's really fun, and you can learn a lot by listening to horn players and listening to saxophone solos and, and other horn solos, and you get a lot of great ideas for guitar parts. And sometimes on the guitar, you can kind of imitate the horn section and play really rhythmic, melodic licks that can be fills or part of a solo or, or anything you want them to be. So that is example number four. Lick number five is a variation on a typical electric blues lick, one that Lowell Folson uses a lot, and I, I showed this to you in the first example. I call these hops. Sounds like hopping to me. And you can play it by sliding on the third string and then coming back to the third fret of the second string, or you can just bend up the fifth fret of the third string. In a tune called It's a Long Time, in the key of G, he does a little variation that I don't think I've ever heard anyone else do. It goes like this. 
play it again. What I'm doing there is doing two of these hops, and then real quick, quickly going from the 6th fret of the 2nd string to the 3rd fret. We're playing over the 1st position blues box in G. It's just a very simple little variation, but I can't recall hearing anyone do this. Usually you're going to do these bends and go back into that, you know, the 3rd and 4th strings. But Lowell Folson on this tune does that. It's a very subtle, very simple little thing, but as you're playing those hops, it's just a different way you can move out of that out of that lick. One more time. Simple, but cool. That's lick number five. Example number six is one of my favorite Lowell Folson licks, and this is from an instrumental tune called Roland Blues. And Roland Blues is one of the first electric blues guitar instrumentals that I ever really wanted to learn. I love the song so much. And there's one point in the song where over the one he plays this really cool descending double stop lick and he does this to start out one of the verses and there's a lot of cool things going on here so let me play it for you i'm just going to play the part over the one and i'll show you what's going on <laughs> And so we're playing over the one, and we're starting off, we're in the key of G, we're starting off like we have before, with that lick right there, check the tab, and then right here we're going to get a double stop on the first and second strings, third fret, I'm using my first finger, and then we've got this descending lick, I'm using my pinky, and I'm going from the sixth fret to the fifth fret on the second string. Then back to that lick. So we just do this. And then here we're going. Really neat. You could use this as part of a solo or in the introduction to a song. And what I'm doing here, I'm getting the double stop at the third fret. Seventh, I'm sorry, sixth fret of the second string. And I'm picking it as a double stop. So when I get the sixth fret of the second string, I'm still getting the first string, third fret. So we got this. And then right here, I'm just moving my first finger over to get the second and the third string. So we got this. kind of walking back. Remember before we were climbing? Now we're going the other way. Really neat stuff. And he does all this, again, within the boundaries of the first position blues box. Listen to the instrumental Roland Blues, and you'll hear this. I think it's in the third or fourth verse where he does that. So anytime you need like a melodic lick, you could just go and do something like this. of things with the combination of the double stop licks, the single string run, and those double stops played like that. That is example number six. Lick number seven, we're going to move to the key of C, and I'm just going to quickly show you a real cool kind of rumba rhythm that Lowell Folson uses. I've heard him play it in an A flat, which is kind of an unusual key, but also in the key of C, and it goes like this. That part I just kind of threw on at the end, but this rumba, I really like that, and that's something that's kind of a signature little Folsom lick. And all I'm doing is if I'm playing in C, I'm starting on the sixth string, seventh or eighth fret, and then I'm going to the tenth fret of the fifth string, and then the tenth fret of the fourth string. And you hear kind of that little roll. So it's a quick, I'm dragging the pick down and 
and playing those notes very quickly, one after the other. And if you listen, oh, I can't remember the song I got this from. There's one called um, Rock 'em Dead, and I, he does that in A flat. He does this. He does a little variation on it too, but I can't remember. In the key of C, he does there's a tune where he does this. But anyway. That's over the one, and then if we want to play it over the four, we just move everything over, and we're playing over what would be the F, second position bar chord, back over the one, and then for the five, just playing a boogie rhythm, or you could go to this. three of the chords, but it's something you don't really hear anyone else doing besides a little Folsom. So that is lick number seven.